I'm the Journal Sentinel's Carol Deptola at the table. Palermo Villa on the east side closed last summer to undergo a metamorphosis. When it reopened in December, much had changed, including the name. It's Divino Wine and Dine now. The ownership changed too, but it's in the same family, and the staff's very hospitable. The interior changed dramatically, from the tiles behind the bar that form a city skyline to the mural of a winery in the dining room. It feels open and cozy at once. And some changes were made to the menu as well. There are lots of shareable plates, like fonduta or baked cheeses, and ciabatta with various toppings, like olive tapenade and sun-dried tomato. Pastas now can be ordered at half size and half price, like the puttanesca, which gets its tang from capers and olives. The menu still has many of the traditional Italian elements, dishes that have become American comfort foods. That includes pizza, like the Florentine with fresh spinach, and a very good eggplant parmesan. Divino has a late-night kitchen serving until midnight or 1 a.m. on Friday and Saturday, and it has a nice wine and craft beer list. Read more about Davino and Friday's Journal Sentinel or at jsonline.com. For News Radio 620 WTMJ, I'm Carol Deptola.